And just that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist, as I get video games, as I get commentary, and when we last left off, we were talking to Detective Blue right over here. We weren't really. Like, we, we tried bribing him with fish. That didn't go over too well. Why arrest Buckler? Miss Buckler is 100% innocent, so why'd you arrest her? I understand your desire to believe in her, but the fact remains that she's suspicious. Right now, there are investigators on the scene, so you can come in as you please. Come as you are, like the song. Come as you are, da da da. That's a uh, Nirvana song. But, uh, but ordinarily, a security card is required to enter this orca, orca pool room. So the victim and Sasha Buckle were the only ones who possessed this card. And yesterday, the day of the incident, there's proof the suspect's card was used. The security card added to the court record. The key card for gaining access to the orca pool, only the victim and Sasha had one. Objection! Somebody else could have used Miss Buckler's card! Oh my, I guess that would be one possible explanation. But uh, even so... <laughs> didn't, I sound, didn't I sound just like a lawyer right there? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, Athena, but you are a lawyer. Yeah, you'd kind of be in trouble if you didn't. <laughs> I love... Like like I said a few recording sessions ago, like it's so I can't wait to play as Athena though to to see what her type of like comments are because like both uh, uh, Apollo and Phoenix are heavy are very sarcastic right but like like I said Apollo's sarcasm is more like self deprecating sarcasm <laughs> like it's it's very self deprecating whereas like Phoenix is like Phoenix is so snarky <laughs> it's ridiculous I love it <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we'd kind of be in trouble if you didn't. <laughs> Except, the, su the suspect confirmed she entered the room at the time we the, re the record states. She said she was there from 3 to 6 a.m. on July 20th. Apparently, she was giving the orca pool room a good cleaning. Cleaning? In the middle of the night? Yeah, she said that a lot of the heavy-duty cleaning is done at night. Makes, se makes sense. The suspect also admits that she was fired with the owner before the his murder. What's more, nobody saw the victim again after we met with the suspect. OBJECTION! Um, there must be something I can object to in there, there somewhere! Save your objections for tomorrow's trial. By the way, Detective Fulbright, do you think Miss Buckler's questioning is over? No, not yet. But I told the guy in charge to take it easy on her. Why? Is something wrong? She frickin' chop him up, she has a sword now. They, they'd probably confiscate it from her for one and second of all, it's not a real sword, but still, just just go with the joke, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, forgot I say anything forget I say anything. It doesn't concern you two anyway. But it does concern us. We intend to represent Miss Buckler. What you do? In that case, I have a favor to ask. Could you get this medicine to her? Oh. Medicine? Looks like a prescription for Hickfield Clinic. Oh no! Hickfield Clinic! <laughs> Dr. Hootie! Well, he's Dr. Hickfield now, but still, Dr. Hootie! <laughs> I spent some time at that hospital myself. We confiscated from her from home when we were doing a re we're doing a search. I can't get away get get away here. So if you could make sure she gets it, that would be great. Medicine, huh? Does Miss Buckler have some illness? Um. I think that's the kind of question you better ask her. In justice we trust. Now I need to get back to the investigation. Prescription badge bag added to the court record. Prescription badge, yes. Seized from Sasha's residence. She apparently had this fil filed no filled at the Hickfield Clinic. Dr. Hody. Oh, yes! We can give it to her as soon as they let us talk to her. We have to return a calendar to calendar to her as well. If we, can, if we can't see Sasha investigate, we shouldn't question the people at the aquarium. Ba apparently, actually, Phoenix Edward told me that in... I was about to say in Korean. In German, um, the word for aquarium is... It's aquarium. It's it's pronounced German. It's like, it's like The pronunciation is different. I didn't, I didn't look it up. I forgot to look it up before this recording session to see how it's pronounced, but... I am not super knowledgeable on German... N enough on German phonetics to know, but like... I imagine it's like, ah... Uh, Acadium? 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 I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go to move. I heard, like I said, if you are, um, pop quiz, what's the Japanese word for, uh, aquarium? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna move. Uh, okay. 
Now, what's up? What's in the to do list first, though? Give Sasha the equip medicine, search the crime scene. We can't do that right now, but uh, let's go ahead and move. To Pablo Danger. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Pub O Danger. Huh? That door is open! It was closed yesterday! It's gonna be Dr. We're gonna meet Dr. Crab, ladies and gentlemen! Maybe it wouldn't sound so badly if some people weren't playing with big, meaty claws. What did you say, punk? You heard me! Big, meaty claws! Well, these claws ain't just for attractive mates! <laughs> Why did I go into, like, pseudo black when I was doing Mr. Krabs? Well, you know what we have to do, right? Of course, boss! We sneak in and check it out! Hey, you go! Oh, this is Dr. Krab! I've seen, I've seen him before! Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, well... He kind of has like a, like a Spike Spiegel here from, um, whatchamacallit, so I kind of want to like do like my best Steve Bloom impersonation. The problem is that if I do my Steve Bloom impersonation, it's going to sound too much like Godot, right? Ha, Godot, ha, blacker than a moonless night, hotter, more bitter than hell itself. Ha, Godot, ha, <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, but Steve Bloom. Bang, I'm Tom. Yeah, you know, you know we're going to go with it. Who barges into a person's lab without permission? <laughs> eh, we're sorry! My apologies, sir. She she insisted. Don't throw me under the bus, Mr. Wright! Apparently he doesn't have like You know what he reminds me of? he his face his face shape, it reminds me of um Okabirintaro from um Steins Gate. He for a doctor he doesn't seem like he has a whole lot like a very big budget. You have a lot of uh Anyway. The polite thing to do is knock and ask if you could come in. Now, start over. Yes, sir! Come in. Thank you, sorry to bother you! Now, what could I do for you? Medical problems. Um, well, yes, I'm not feeling super good at the mo moment. We're not making any progress in this murder investigation and- Hey, miss. Where's the patient? Don't you have- don't you have your pet with you? He's a veterinarian. Oh, wait a minute. That was my last- that was my last shot. This is the aquarium. I was exhausted from all the questioning. I must have fallen asleep. I kind of want to make him sound a bit more goofy. <laughs> he actually kind of reminds- he kind of reminds me of Gumshoe, actually. Like his mannerisms. He's like Gumshoe! What's with this guy? My apologies, I just woke up and I was a little groggy. I'm Dr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> Herman Crab, are you serious? I'm Hermit Crab? I'm Shipship Aquarium's resident veterinarian. Oh! You're the doc you're the doctor you're the Dr. Crab Mr. Rhymes mentioned yesterday! And Rhymes also mentioned he hadn't seen Dr. Crab around. I wonder why where he was. Son of a gun! This little thing doesn't let me get any sleep. Ah! What a cute little thing! Who is it? A penguin chick. I remember the little penguin species. She lives in my hair. You know what this? You know what this is? This is basically a very deep Mr. Donovan voice, right? If you watch my V11 series, you know what I'm talking about. I'm Donovan D. Donson. Huh, Mr. Donovan. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it, it's it's because like Don Mr. Donovan is deep is a deep version of Godot, right? Like Godot, ha, huh? Mr. Donovan, I'm, I'm Donovan D. Donson, and no, um, he's even deeper. Jeez, a penguin chick. I remember the little penguin species. She lives in my hair. I haven't seen him in a long time. You know, I say that probably next recording session. I'm gonna end up seeing him again. By the way, w watch VA11 Holy Cyberpunk Bard Interaction if you haven't yet. It's a it's a very good series. Do it. And if you do, you might know what a red voice is, ladies and gentlemen. You might. Anyway, what was, talk what, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, this. I don't know. It's 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 legitimately one of my legit. Like I said, it's legitimately one of my favorite series that I've done so far. And I don't know. Just I love it. 
Oh, you're so lucky. I wish I had a pet to live in my hair. Although, viewer discretion is advised, it's a lot more adult in nature compared to Ace Attorney. <laughs> we'll say that. Athena, no pets allowed in my office. Ah, you're no fun. <clears throat> if you two don't have any particular business with me, please leave. I have to get ready to make my rounds. Back and you go, little one. Wait, we'd like to ask you a few questions to save Miss Buckler. Hold on. Don't tell me you're the curious pair who defended Orla. That's right. Please let us ask you a little. Please let us ask you a little about the case. All right. Actually, hold on. First and foremost, are you aware that I'm a lawyer? Gets him every time. <laughs> it's, it's a common trick that you, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Don't waste my time. With you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't waste my time with useless nonsense. I'm sleepy. I tell you. You won't even glance at it. Oh no, this is terrible. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know. Crowd is gonna be. This is terrible in the comment section. I know you're gonna do it. Son of a gun! How could you die before fulfilling your promise to me? Wait, did we present the fish? I think we presented the fish. Mr. Shipley promised you something. You promised me you'd make Ship Ship Aquarium the greatest aquarium in the world. It was because of that promise that I agreed to become the resident vet here. I felt like he was talking about the fish. Like, how dare you die before, like, I die I don't know. So you were just a regular veterinarian before this? That's right. Big or small, there is no living creature I cannot treat. Really? Would you like me to examine you? Oh, you're looking kind of, you know, kind of messed up right there. Um, I am... Uh... She is 18. She is 18. Technically. So, although, I don't know, technically in Japan, if you're 18, you're still technically a minor. Technically. You're not technically an adult adult until you're 20. But, um, still, what was I doing? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Would you like me to examine you? What? You can treat people too? You're amazing, Dr. Crab! I was joking, of course. Oh, you walked right into that one. <laughs> You're awful, Dr. Crab! <laughs> I love Athena. Okay, so that makes them amazingly awful. <laughs> Whistle. Mm, don't waste my time. <laughs> I love this voice I gave, but it's amazing. I want to use this more often. <laughs> Fish. I don't think I don't think this voice really fits him at all if I were to be honest, but I love it <laughs> You'll get used to it, you know like this is how it is in my in my in my series, right? I pick a voice that no one agrees with But then by the end of the series you can't imagine it without it, right? Like I remember I got so much flack for giving kitty kitty the um the um do the evil Dahlia voice uh, Okay the evil Dahlia voice, um, and Danganronpa. I was like, yeah, because, you know. It's been, like, for those of you who, maybe, maybe you're new to the channel, maybe, because, like, you, you, for, if, if you're new to the channel, like, you probably, for this series, you probably know, well, I mean, if you've been watching, a, if, if you've been keeping up with it, you should, you should have gotten a glimpse of the evil Dahlia voice. I'm evil Dahlia! Frisky boots! In the foot, in the flesh! I want my men! I want my that! And I want them now! It's a bit different, um... It's a bit different from, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, the, uh... What is officially, what is officially, like, Ph Phineas Filch? What is officially the, um... What's, what's it? The, uh, Buckler voice. It's a little bit higher pitched! I'm, I'm Sasha Buckler! Herman Crab. Dr. Crab, were you gone from the aquarium aquarium yesterday? That's right. I heard someone I've had some minor business at the super sub supermarine aquarium. Supermarine? Supermarine? That's a funny name for an aquarium. The Supermarine Aquarium is the nation's biggest dolphin therapy treatment center! I go there myself! I'm friends with their dolphins! I wish I could check the Japanese version to see what the joke is, but I can't. I'm, I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably, 
I'm probably going to complain about that for like legitimately the rest of the series. And then even and then when I start uh, Spirit of Justice, whenever I get to that, it's I'm not doing Spirit of Justice right. I don't. I'm not doing Spirit of Justice right after this, in case you are wondering. I'm going to take a break from Ace Attorney for a little bit. Probably not a full like year long break like I did. Seriously, it wasn't really a year long break like I did with this. It was it was pretty much a year long break like like what I did with between this and Justice for All, but or Trials and Tribulations. But anyway. You and Apollo were talking about animal arrested therapy yesterday, weren't you? I'm probably gonna be complaining about it in that series too. I'll go to some supermarine once a month, but I live here, of course. You live here at the aquarium? Can't you see like the food in the background? That's right. I have a sleeping bag here, and sometimes I use a nap room. Yeah, there's a sleeping bag too. I'm responsible for the health and well-being of all the marine creatures here. If any of them have a sudden medical emergency, I'll be here to help them. Could you just not do that face, please? It's really creepy. Whoa, you're kind of you're kind of a rough around the edges, Dr. Crab, but you care about your work. Hey, buddy. Is this young lady trying to pick a fight with me? I apologize for I apologize for her, sir. She tends to be too honest. Well, you're no paragon of politeness either. Appar either, apparently. The penguin chick. <laughs> the penguin chick. <laughs> and it's a chick penguin, not like a penguin girl. Can, can we see the penguin chick again? Stop! Don't come any closer! Beep, 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 beep. Ow! I'm sorry she attacked you. She doesn't like anyone but me, I'm afraid. I was the first one she saw when she had, so she thinks I'm her parent. <laughs> wow. She targets people for my hair, so please be careful. She's just a little sniper, isn't she? Exactly. That's why I named her Sniper. Her mother's name is Rifle. <sighs> Boom! Sniper and Rifle, huh? What a dangerous sounding mother and daughter. <laughs> so this is Rifle's daughter! Wait, Rifle's a girl? Well, I, anyway, they, they said that already, didn't they? So this rifle's daughter, which means both mother and daughter now hate me! Little penguins are generally belligerent little creatures. It's hard to get them to warm up. But they're, no they're nocturnal, so you must might be able to touch them during the day. Are penguins nocturnal? I didn't know that. You and Sniper get along well, don't you? Just like Sasha and Orla. But I like Sniper and me. The two of them seem to truly understand one another. This one gives me awake every night. Looks like I won't sleep until she leaves the nest. It must be rough for him, but it's pretty cute to watch for us. It's pretty cute to watch for us. <laughs> about the murder. Can you tell me anything about Jack Shipley's murder? Gah! I still can't believe Jack is gone. He's the one who brought me on board. How could he up and die on me? Did you and Mr. Shipley get along? He loved all animals and fish, but I'm not like that. But I still took pride in my work as a vet, nonetheless. A veterinarian that doesn't really like animals. Yeah, I've heard worse. We got along well enough as business associates. And it's thanks to him my laboratory is what it is today. It is a pretty amazing laboratory. Yeah, I give it a B plus. Uh, no, 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 C plus. Give it a C plus. Ah, uh, you have discerning taste, I see. I could tell you more about my lab if you like. Okay, you can do that. But again, don't use that face. Oh, by the way, I'm just noticing the sniper is like sticking out of the hair when he does that. Dr. Crab's lap. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I wish I named myself Dr. Crab. Like, I want to go back in time to like 2010 when I created this channel, and instead of saying Mega Shadow Fist, I want to name myself Dr. Crab. <laughs> That'd be amazing. This place is just filled with electronics. What are those monitors for? Essentially, they're digital medical records for all the creatures here. I can also view the feed from the visitor's corridor security camera here. That way, I can see that slim mother penguin when she tries to escape. So you're the one who gave the security footage to the police? No, I wasn't here yesterday, but I did give my permission for them to take it. I gave them a statement about Jack and Sasha arguing. I'll see you guys in the next episode.